Hello, lovely booktubers <coughs> and Debs. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Raina Read Stuff. I am very glad you're here. I am here today to do one or, well, actually, I'm going to do a few of the many tags that I've fallen behind with. And I am going to start with the This or That tag, which is a tag for People April. And People April is run by Elizabeth at Bookings and Books and Roz at Scally Dandelion around about the books. And it was Roz who has tagged me in this. I'm doing this one first because we're running out of April and it seems more appropriate to do it in April. Um, but this or that tag, 10 questions. Let's start at the top. Big, fat, detailed biographies or short and succinct biographies? I think, at least initially, short and succinct biographies. Although, if I'm really interested in a person, I might then go on to do a big, fat biography. But I'd like to know how interested I'm going to be first. Question two, celebrity memoirs or average Joe memoirs? I don't really do celebrities. To be honest, half the time I'm not sure who they are. So I'm going to have to go with average Joe memoirs. And that doesn't mean to say average Joe doesn't do some exceptional things. But there is a danger, I think of celebrities putting out biographies or autobiographies before they've actually done something. And so I'd be more tempted to read a biography or an autobiography of a celebrity later in their life than I would when they're in their early 20s. But as a choice, I think I'd go for the average Joe memoirs. Complete chorus sorry, question number three. Complete correspondence or selected letters? I think, again, selected. I think with the complete letters, per complete correspondence, it's difficult to separate the wheat from the chaff. Uh, with selected ones, somebody has already done that for you, and I'm presuming that they've chosen the interesting ones for you to read. So I would definitely start there. Question number four. Memoirs written when the events are fresh or memoirs written with hindsight? They say hindsight's a wonderful thing, but I do think that it helps to give you a perspective on what you've seen or heard. On the other hand, I am very much enjoying reading the Faber book of reportage reportage by its nature isn't a, a memoir as such it's a, it's a first hand view of something but it's done with more immediacy normally than a memoir and i am enjoying that but i think for memoirs i think the benefit of hindsight might be useful Question number five, gossipy biographies or scholarly biographies? Quite like a bit of gossip once in a while. I don't really know what to choose here. I like biographies to have a bit of oomph to them, to, um, to be quite chatty. On the other hand, I do read bio historical biographies that are scholarly. That saying, 
I read a biography of Jane Austen last year, which was, I don't know where it is, Jane Austen, The Something Radical. And it came out with such bizarre ideas, I thought just no, no, I don't care how scholarly you are, you're talking rubbish. Um, number six, Diaries of Ordinary Life or Diaries of Extraordinary Events. Definitely Extraordinary Events. Um, I like the story. There are less extraordinary event books that I have read and enjoyed, like, for example, Cider with Rosie by Laurie Lee, which is quite pastoral, um, and I did enjoy that very much. Um, but on the whole, I would say extraordinary events, because they're interesting. Number seven, arty memoirs or sporting memoirs? Definitely arty memoirs. This isn't to say that I don't like sport, because I do. Um, <clears throat> not so keen on things like football or cricket, but when the Olympics, Commonwealth Games, uh, Winter Olympics are on, I'm glued. I am absolutely glued to it, and I will watch everything. I love athletics. Uh, gymnastics, um, the long distance events, the cycling, I'll watch dressage, um, all sorts, all sorts, most of it in fact. I like the hockey, I'm not that fussed with tennis to be honest, but when it comes to memoirs, I think I would definitely prefer arty ones rather than sporting ones. Uh, number eight, gritty autobiographical writing or inspirational autobiographical, autobiographical writing. I'm going with gritty. Yes, I like, I like gritty stories <coughs> and I quite like a gritty autobiography, I think. Yes. Definitely gritty. Biographies of historical figures or biographies of contemporary figures is question number nine. I like both, but I read far more um, biographies of historical figures than I do of contemporary figures. Yes, far more. Number 10. We're whizzing through these. Memoirs of happy days or memoirs of tragic days. I'm going to have to say memoirs of tragic days just because there's more of a story to them. I read a book last year called The Happiest Man in the World. And it was actually a story of uh, this guy's incarceration in uh, in a Nazi death camp. He read, he eventually obviously got out of there um, and he ended up emigrating to Australia where he chose to be happy for the rest of his life and even though it was a biography about a traumatic time in his life it was positively joyful um, bear with me I'll see if I can find it <coughs> Thank you. 
Eddie Jacku. It's subtitled The Beautiful Life of an Auschwitz Survivor. And he was in Buchenwald, he was in Auschwitz, but he survived and actively made a decision to be as happy as he could every day of his life from then on. Um, he died a couple of years ago, but the book was wonderful. And he just came over. I mean, look at him. He just looks like such a lovely man. And even though it was titled The Happiest Man on Earth, it was obviously, it included some really dark days. Um, and that was why he decided that he was going to be the happiest man on earth. Others I've read recently, um, Vera Britton's A Testament of Youth. There's nothing really happy in that. But it's a story that's important and needed to be told. There's one extra question that Elizabeth uh, added in, and that is uh, Samuel, Samuel Pepys, The Complete Diaries or Selected Excerpts? Definitely selected excerpts. You know, I'm sure his complete diaries include things like I emptied the chamber pot out of the window or, you know, kicked the cat this morning. So I'd like somebody else really to go through all these things and choose the bits that are interesting unless obviously i was doing research for something but i'm not i'm reading these things uh out of interest and i'll just read the interesting bits if i develop a complete fascination with him i might then read the complete ones but i doubt it that is the this or that tab for the People of April event, which is being run, as I said, by Roz from Scally Dandling About Books and Elizabeth from Bookins and Books. It's a lovely event and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Now it just remains to tag some people. And I don't know who's done it and who hasn't. So let us tag. Do you know what? If you fancy doing this tag, do the tag. Particularly if you are participating in People April, because, like I say, we are running out of April. Everybody who wants to do it, consider yourself tagged. That's it from me. Thank you for stopping by. I'm going to now go on and do another one in the hope that I can clear my backlog of tag videos this week. And I shall speak to you soon.